do 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 gonna get the teddy bear gonna get the teddy bear hey thief you can still walk away give us back home your body and mind the teddy bear this is our chance take this tedious <laughs> this too if i need to rules are made to be broken also, I have leveled up the uh, protagonist's preservation class as well, because I will try to use it in the GN show. Is this a contact that careless guy lost? Let's give it back to him. The contract. When am I gonna catch a break? Here's your com commodity contract. Huh? But that robot stole it! Shit. If I don't mix up any clips later on when I'm editing everything. We defeated the evil robot and got your contact back. Really? Thank you so much. <laughs> now if I can just sell my items, I'll have enough money to bid on the Erebus Teddy. You two have done me a huge favor. I won't forget it. Looks like we talked to everybody we could talk to. Please wait a moment. The auction will begin shortly. Let's wait for the auction to begin. The next item has been provided by Hook, a gemstone collector from Boulder Town. It's a handmade teddy bear adorned with Erebus. An innovative design, it combines incredibly valuable Erebus gemstones with a, a, a good old-fashioned cuddly teddy bear. The opening bid is 300 shield. Man, come on, we need, we need that. We are, where's that fast-talking auctioneer who's like, I got 300, 300, 400, 400, 600, 600, yeah, yeah you go over there, 700, 700, something like that. 25. Oh, you're adding 25. Isn't that... Oh man, we gotta have the... Oh, yeah, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. <laughs> uh, What's that guy sitting back there watching it for? All the way back in that... Behind the tent. Also, yeah, if you notice, the uh, options are not down there on the bottom of the screen anymore. I figured out that you could turn that off. Hey, what's the problem with 325? That's my offer. 350. I'll add another 50. And I'll add 50 to that. Over here. Add another 50. I'm putting my reputation as a gemologist on the line. I have to get my hands on that Erebus. Add another 100 shield. 600 going once. Any buyers going higher? 600 shield for the Erebus teddy bear going twice. Any other offers? 600 shield going three times and sold. Phew, the gems belong to me. Hmm. I hope this money is enough to buy the probe. Don't worry, we have a solid chance. You're right. Let's do this. The bidding for the Geomaro probe has been postponed due to unanticipated complications at the venue. Please be patient and don't leave the auction that guy if you want to bid on it. gone. He stole it. Don't worry, everyone. Just a minor technical issue. We'll take a quick break now, and the auction will resume soon. A break? Mm, do you think there's something wrong with the Geomaro probe? Yeah, someone stole it. This is an excuse. Let's go ask that staff member. He was right Come back on. there, and he stole it. What happened to the Geomero probe? You tell me right now, straight away, immediately. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. It's just a technical issue. You don't sound very convincing. <gasps> Did someone steal it? Well... <laughs> We can't say for sure that it was stolen. We've contacted the seller and sent some people in search. We should soon be able to... This place is full of troublemakers. Yeah. Why wasn't Wildfire keeping a lookout? I gotta catch the thief and get the probe back. Any ideas, honorary member? 
Let's have a look at the auction registration form. Are you suggesting that someone altered the registration form? That's simply not possible. We've been keeping a close eye on everything. <sighs> Fool! What the honorary member means is that the thief only came here to create trouble. They weren't interested in buying or selling, right? This guy should give us half a salary. I don't have a salary to give. I'm a volunteer. Damn. <sighs> Wait a minute. Let me see. Hmm. Aside from you, there was someone else who registered as a buyer, but never put in a bid. And I think there was a miner who registered with him. Come on, let's go and interrogate them. Oh, he gone. Hi, excuse me. May I ask where the miner who registered with you is gone? Him? I think he went back into town. So... He already ran away. He came here saying he wanted to buy the Geo Marrow Probe, but then he changed his mind for some reason and ran back to Boulder Town alone. Where can you usually find him? I don't know him all that well. Why don't you just head into town and look for him? Do you really think he'll turn out to be a thief? I'm not so sure now. <clears throat> anyway, outsiders, you should go and look for him in Boulder Town. I need to make sure the other buyers haven't left. If you don't find anything, the thief might still be among us. I gotta make like a fucking soundboard thing on my phone, just so I can bring up my own sound effects at times when I want to, because I mean, why not, you know? Let's head back to Boulder Town and catch the thief! Before I couldn't be messing with my, my phone and having a bunch of sound effects go off at random, but I can now. Hard work needs hard rest. And with how many times this game has said, Among Us, I can do it. You, thief. Hey, you! Did you take the Geomero probe? Hand it over right now! Huh? What? Who are you? Where are the people I'm supposed to meet up with? Honorary member, we shouldn't waste any time talking to him. Let's just knock him out. <laughs> What could a couple of brats do to me? Do you even know how much the probe is worth? Shut it, thief. You two better think twice. The boss put in a lot of effort to find this item. If you even... Enough talk! How about a digger drug knuckle sandwich? Leave the rest to me. I won't go easy on you. He won't go easy on you. Ooh, he did. Stand down and I'll spare you. Not each you're in that shape. Okay, enough. I give up, okay? D stay calm. I'll give you the probe. Just listen to me. I overheard the auctioneer say that the Geomero probe would fetch at least 600 shield. 600 shield. Have you ever seen that much money? I've literally sold thousands of it. I'm one of the 10 wealthiest people in Bellabog. <laughs> you? Yeah, right. I don't believe you. How about this? The boss, along with a few buddies and I, we put together 600 shield and buy the probe from you. Hmm? No! Hook won't do that! Come on, Missy. Don't be so stubborn. We can talk it over. Oh, I see. You just want to keep the probe to yourselves, right? Ugh. And here I was thinking I'd met some nice people. You're worse than I am. Uh... This belongs to your dad, Hook. Maybe it did in the beginning, but... Things have changed now. Let's go, honorary member. Back to the auction. Wait a minute. You're just gonna give it back? That's 600 shield! 600! At least think about it! There's nothing to think about, Mr. Thief! Starting to sound like Jake's voice actor from Adventure Time. I don't want to be a louse like you. Which would also be Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. We're gonna win it at the auction fair and square. Let's go. 
Well, I'm gonna sneeze. You got the pro back? Amazing! Fantastic! The owner asked me to pass on 150 shield as a reward for retrieving it. And thanks to you, the auction house has regained its credibility. Please, accept an extra 50 shield. That's... 200 shield! Really? You've earned it. Besides, if you win the bid for the Geomero probe, you'll have paid back the seller anyway, right? So this is like a discount for the seller? Well, I didn't say that, but you could certainly interpret it that way. Huck generously accepts the reward. We've got 800 shield for the auction! Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, the technical issue has been resolved. The second half of the auction is about to commence. Please gather in an orderly manner. Let's wait for the auction to begin. So could you have totally missed getting the, the pro next the thing? item up for auction has been provided by a veteran prospector from the Vagrant Camp. It's an ancient relic, a Geo Marrow probe. I'm guessing you could have really have just missed this, I suppose. The item itself was once a key component of another old world relic, and its one of a kind craftsmanship has long since ceased to exist. This meticulously preserved probe is a rare work of art. The opening bid is 400 shield. 400 to... Uh, oh my god. 420. 450. 480. 500. 520. 550. 560. 600. Order, order. You're just throwing bids out at random. 650. 700. 720. <laughs> uh, everyone's looking at us. What should we do? Over to you, Hook. 750. 750. Did you hear that, everyone? That's what a one of a kind treasure costs. 750 shield going once. 750 shield going twice. 750 shield going three times. And sold. Congratulations to the winner. We saved 50 shield. Honorary member, did I win the bid? Does Hook really get the probe? <sighs> Wake up, this isn't a dream. never have won the probe without your help. Ah, oh, we've got some money left over. Let's use it on the old witch. She helped Hook repair Jun Jun, so Hook's gonna treat her to some stone grilled home. As for you, you've earned Hook's verbal praise. I just, I want money. It's no big deal. I don't need any praise. Yeah, Hook knows this is what grown-ups should be like, but Hook still wants to thank you. Thanks for the help, big sister. Let's go see the old witch later. I'll ask her to wrap this probe up as a beautiful gift for Daddy. Hard work needs hard rest. Just blast the goddamn door of her clinic. Come on, Boom. then. Well, are you hurt? Blim. Natasha! Hook, you look very happy. Did something good happen? Matt, come on, set it up. Mine and Daddy's birthday party is starting soon. Can you help me wrap up this gift? I want to surprise Daddy. <sighs> you rascal. <laughs> You only come and find me in situations like this. Please, Natasha. I'll help you clean the clinic for half a month, if you help me. Deal. I can't believe you won such a valuable item. Junju must have fetched a small fortune, huh? Natasha's craftsmanship was very popular. Even with the Erebus, you must have put in a lot of effort to get such a good price. Fursman will be very happy with his gift. By the way, Hook, how are your birthday party plans coming along? Have you invited this young lady? Oh, not yet. Big sister, 
Do you want to come to my birthday party? Of course. Great. Oh, I'll contact the other members of the moles too. Come find me when you're ready. We'll go together. It's the birthday party. Where is it being held? Just down the street? But wait, the birthday party was hit by a surprise <laughs> terrorist attack. Boss! That's the terrible. The big hero you mentioned is here. Julian, knock it off. Big hero? Uh, you heard that? Well, don't get too cocky, honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it too? What will there be to eat? Well, Gertie always makes a big black bean cake for Hook's birthday. Big black bean cake? Oh, oh, and Daddy always makes a huge roasted rock crab for me. Oh, it makes my mouth water just thinking about it. And don't forget about Diggertron. Daddy brings a year's worth of machine oil and Diggertron drinks it all up. Sounds like they spoil you. I'm the boss of the moles. If I don't get enough to eat, how will I have the energy to punish villains? We were talking about the birthday party. You... Who have you invited? Well, I had to invite Daddy first. Speaking of birthdays, Daddy never used to celebrate them. He only started doing it when he adopted Hook. Okay, yeah, so she definitely is adopted, all right. I also invited other members of the moles and... Oh, yeah, Zila, too. Uh, she couldn't come today, but she said she'd still send me a gift. <laughs> it actually makes her loving her father so much... So much more sweet. I also invited the old witch, Sweta, and you, of course, the honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. Let's get going. I get a... do hope you will forgive the ramblings of an old man, but I... I would like to say a few words. I had no idea when my birthday was before I adopted Hook. And I most certainly did not celebrate it. I didn't realize how important birthday celebrations were until I met my daughter. That is why I chose to have my birthday on the same day as Hook, so that we could celebrate this special day together. That continued year after year until I too began to look forward to the party. Today is an extra special day. In addition to the moles, Hook has invited a dear and brave new friend. I hope you have a wonderful time at the party today. Thank you for inviting Natasha me. Natasha told me that you helped Hook retrieve a teddy bear. It used to be that Hook could only fall asleep when she held that bear in her arms. Daddy, don't bring that up. Uh, Hook's grown up now. I can sleep without hugging Jun Jun. Life has gotten increasingly difficult since we left the mining town. All those days away at work have meant that your dad hasn't always been around to look after you. But fortunately, Joan June was always with you to keep you company when I wasn't around. I... Oh, Daddy, I... I have to tell you something. I... I sold Joon Joon! Huh? You sold him? Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I don't need a doll to keep me company anymore. Natasha, the moles, and the honorary member will keep me company from now on, so I won't be lonely. You sold him. I truly am an incompetent father. I had no idea. Not true. I know you care about me the most, Daddy. I just didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. <sighs> Thank you, Hook. But the birthday gift I've chosen is... Uh... Huh? What did you get for me, Daddy? Th this... A teddy bear's cap? Oh, no. Clothes and a dresser? <laughs> and a little home for him. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Toy-making companies are increasingly scarce this year. I had to travel to different towns. <sighs> I never expected June June might have been sold. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, it's okay, Daddy. Don't cry. Uh, Natasha will teach me how to make another doll. 
Oh, yeah, I got a gift for you, too. Open it and take a look. For me? I'm curious. It's the Jill Morrow probe. <laughs> she helped me to bid for it at the auction. I bought it with the money I got from selling Jun Jun. With this, you should be able to repair the vein detector. Right, Daddy? Daddy? Thank you so much, Hook. Daddy really likes this birthday gift. But, uh... <laughs> I... I might not be able to use it right now. Huh? Well, why not? It's like this, Hook. I... Bought your gift with the money I got from selling the vein detector. Oh, shit. Huh? So, my gift is also useless. Oh. Hook, do you still like the gift I got for you? Of course. Your gifts are the best in the world. Well, I feel the same way about your gift, Hook. Me and you are in the same boat. Man, I love these hook quests. They're always so adorable. I'm surprised there's no, like, trophy for... Or just little in-game reward for, um... What am I trying to... For, you know, doing all the optional objectives in that quest. Anyway, what is that about? Oh my god. I had to go so far. Okay, let's get over there and get this done before the uh, episode ends up becoming too long. But I really, I really enjoyed that quest. I always love the hook quests. They're always adorable. <sighs> so, what did you do with those defective robots? Um, well... Come on, what are you squirming around for? The worker in charge of arms management forgot to report the defects unit to the commanding officer. Those robots may have already been deployed to the restricted zone. What?! Don't get angry, I have written a report of this incident and submitted it to the management. We just need to wait for them to send someone to deal with it. But you know what our approval system is like? Until then, we can't really do anything. Oh my gosh, we can't just sit here and do nothing. There will be big trouble if we don't deal with this now. How can you just sit around so calmly? You're right, but we are just small potatoes. There is no way we can deal with those crazy robots. Oh, this makes me so angry. Where are the garrison people? They are to blame for the... They are to blame for the restricted zone receiving this batch of subpar garbage since they didn't do enough quality control. Shouldn't those people come forward to provide us an explanation? Well, I've contacted them, but no matter what I say, they just blame it on the technology division, saying that they're unreliable and the garrison had nothing to do with it, which means we have to deal with it ourselves. That's ridiculous. How can they shrink their responsibilities like that? Do you need a hand? Which department are you from? A kind-hearted passerby. <laughs> a kind-hearted passerby in this place? I doubt it. Wait, you're... Uh, aren't you the outsider? On the warrant that the architects were so desperate to apprehend not too long ago? But this is a military-restricted zone, and not even a snow mouse is going to be able to enter. How did you manage to get in? Oh, whatever. If you can put up a fight against the Silverman guards, those crazy robots might just be a piece of cake for you. Listen. I have something very urgent that I need your help with. It's a matter of life and death. Saving people is my passion. Easier said than done. I hope you're really that reliable. Let me give you a rundown first. So last month, the garrison ordered a bunch of guard bots, and at the time, the manufacturing team was so overstretched that there was no other option but to outsource some workloads to a private manufacturer in the city. And it turns out that the batch of robots is, is simply subpar, and there is a real danger that could go out of control. I guess you've already heard what happened afterwards, so I'll say no more. In short, I hope you can deal with those out-of-control robots as soon as possible and take back their core modules. 
I don't care how you do it, electromagnetic interference, remote control, or simply smashing them to pieces. They're just useless now anyway. I've marked the general location of those robots. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Okay. Should be able to get this done. Oof. I'm all, also all of a sudden starting to not feel too good. I probably shouldn't have eaten what I ate earlier. Hmm. You're just letting that sit there? What? Oh yeah, that's just fair. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's just completely fair. Man, what the hell? Just wait, it jumped me like that when I know it's the one, but you won't let me walk onto it? Yeah. Yeah, that's just... that's cool. Yeah, we don't do that around here. Calm your body and mind. This is our chance. Take this! Fleeting light, roaring flood. Rules are made to be broken. I'm gonna hit him with the bat as usual. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. Indeed, it is. It is vast. It is big. And I have to move this damn thing. Why is that one just in the garbage can? What's wrong with this robot? It doesn't recognize us? I had no I have no idea. It seems to be a new robot from the garrison. If we just made it like this without telling the captain, will we get into trouble? It's a faulty robot. Let me do it. Uh, aren't they brand new? Uh, how come? Is it because the garrison didn't do proper quality control? Just leave it be. It's not our job to pursue this matter. You here to retrieve it? We already removed the core module. Please look into this matter and don't let this happen again. Oh, scary. So they just fought it, okay. He wants to throw hands. And I will gladly throw them with him. I won't go easy on you. This is our chance. Naughty children, don't listen. Savor the vigor of life. We can just take a few hits. Just a scratch. I'm okay. Leave the rest to me. Calm your body and mind. Take this! Just would've been dumb if we wasted a super on that. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. And now we will return to them. Ah, oh, damn. I really don't feel good. I mean, I guess I could go to bed. Because I do kind of plan on waking up pretty early tomorrow, around like 9. Paywa? We should take a moment to think this through. Who is involved in the quality control process for the outsourcing project? Tell me all the names that you can think of. Miss Sergeyevna. Or, oh, no, wait, he doesn't, he doesn't. Miss Sergeyevna, I'm just a researcher here. I don't know how much you. Th I don't know as much as you think. Firstly, my last name is Sergeyevna. Secondly, you don't have to patronize me. Just call me Pela. I don't care if you call me officer or not. I only care about the handling this incident properly and efficiently, and that depends on whether you can give me useful information. Don't waste our time. 
I think, um... Miss Paywa! Please don't call my name like that. Why are you here? This is strange. How come it's you again? Jafar did not tell me... Jafar did tell me not to make things typical for the outsider, but the Silvermane Guard Restricted Zone isn't just somewhere I can let you hang around. I just did what a good citizen would. Hey, but you know that's still illegal for a good citizen to enter the Military Restricted Zone, right? However, since you're here, you must have something to do with this. Be honest and tell me the truth. Uh, I understand now. It's more or less as I summarize. Since Miss Molly and you are involved in this incident, then everything makes sense now. As to those core modules, hand them to me first. Alright, Mr. Researcher, do you want to comment on this? Your statement seems to be a little bit different from this lady's. Well, I was just afraid you'd make Molly a suspect. She can be a bit impatient at times, but I assure you that this incident has nothing to do with her. Uh, please, just spare me, Captain. Don't worry, you and Molly will be fine. Just don't play silly games with me when I, when it happens again in the future. Remember what I said, don't waste my time. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Captain Sergei Kevna. Her name is Pela, Pela Gaia Sergei. Well, whatever, I've gotten used to it. Even though I really want to hold you responsible for your trespassing in the military zone, I will however let you let it slide this time. Since her vault vouched for your ability and character, I would also like to ask you to help me deal with the incident, which is the chance for you to make up for your mistakes. Long story short, this inc this robot incident is just one chapter in my ongoing investigation. The stakes here are very high, and Miss Molly may have ruffled some feathers, so she might be in danger now. I'm going to ask you one last question. Do you know where Molly is? Well, there seemed to be a family emergency. She ran back to check in on them. It was the Silvermane guard from the garrison who came to send the message. I don't know what they talked about, but she looked dreadful afterwards. I think you can go to the Minister District. There is an apartment building next to the abandoned business street. I think Molly is there. I guess I was right. She's in trouble. I'll go first. Please follow me. So <laughs>